we are back with another video both engines are on the stands we're getting ready to tear them down but before we get to that I want to point out a few things on the GTI motor so here we got the motor mount that started all these problems this is the passenger side motor mount the front bolt the head is completely snapped off and then the rear bolt as you can see it's pretty much stripped here I got the original bolt from it and you can see it just slides in there so when the motor dropped oil pan dragged on the ground as you can see all those scrapes and then the hole that it made is just right over here it's real small but it was enough to cause all the oil to drip out so I'm gonna let my brother tear this thing down while he's doing that we're gonna head to the back and see what's cracking with the other motor and then start pulling things apart all right so this past weekend I took off all the accessories alternator and all and now we are about to tear this thing down all the way to the bare block since it's gonna be a full rebuild most of this stuff will just get tossed so things are probably gonna get broken so let's get started I forgot to mention this before, but if you want to take off the head of your motor, you'll need this special socket. It is a 10 millimeters six point poly drive socket. Easily found online, I'll post the link. You can find it on eBay. Fits a bunch of other head bolts on the Volkswagen and Audi engines. I've used this same exact socket on the Mark IV 2 liter AEG, and this can be used on the 1.8T. All the internals are now out. Motor is completely stripped. I got it sitting in the corner all wrapped up. Next plan for that block is to take it to the machine shop and get it bored out. That won't be happening till later on. So anyways, next I'm going to show you guys how to take apart the piston so you can install your rods. So I got the straight pick here and all we're going to do is use it to rotate the clip. It can get a little hard to twist it into the notch so a cool little trick that I learned is to get a drill bit. Stick it down the wrist pin. 
and you're gonna use this as leverage to turn it. I'm gonna place it against the clip. Simply gonna turn with the drill bit until it reaches the notch. As you can see there, the clip is right into the notch. Here we got a right angle pick. I'm gonna stick it right in the notch. As you can see it's coming out. Whoops! So there we have it, C-clip is out, found it on the ground. All you gotta do now is flip the piston over to the other side without the notch. And then from there you can go ahead and push the wrist pin out. Here we got the piston, and we got the rod separated. Now that the rod is off, we can go ahead and take off the piston rings. Pretty simple. Look for the open notch, place your tool right in between there. You're just gonna wanna pull them apart. And you can lift it off of the piston. Again, we got the open end. Get our tool, spread the ring, and lift it off of the piston. Now the bottom ring does have a little spacer. It comes off real easy, you can do it with your hand. You don't need to use the tool. So there you have it, piston and rod completely disassembled. We're gonna go ahead and do the other pistons. Should be quick. Everything's disassembled, all the rings are off, rods separated from the piston. Obviously I'm not going to reuse any of these, the stroker motor is going to get brand new pistons and rods, rings and everything. The rods for the GTI motor are on the way right now as we speak. So when it does come in, I'll show you guys how to install them onto the piston that you're going to reuse. So stay tuned, hit that notifications button, mahalo guys for watching, see you guys on the next one.